okay so we'll just have a quick uh, recap of all this and then we will move to some other point so we are studying noise pollution noise pollution or even i can say sound pollution now what is the meaning of noise pollution or sound pollution how it can be defined as so a sound which gives a unpleasant uh, sensation to the ear is known as sound pollution or noise pollution and if the sound gives a pleasant effect then it is known as what it is written over there it gives a it is known as music okay it gives if it gives a pleasant sensation then it can be known as what music okay then again if another way i want to define the sound pollution then it can be a sound which create disturbance in the environment okay when the sound creates disturbance in the environment then also it can be known as sound pollution now we have discussed many effects uh, many effects of the noise pollution say for example it create disturbance in the normal conversation okay then it gives uh, it can disturb the sleep pattern we have discussed this also and any person which can affect health adversely if the sleep is not proper even the health won't be proper okay then it give rise to headache and also nervous tension and then hearing problem can be there which can be temporary or it can be permanent then if a person comes in contact with noise pollution for long hours it can give rise to disease like color blindness so in short if i and thinking process is the last one so in short children if i want to just it out so what i will say a uh, pollution which uh, a noise pollution is one which you know uh, a kind of a sound or a noise which do not give a pleasant sensation to your ears and then it can affect your uh, health your sleep your conversation your talk okay your health it can give rise to diseases like color blindness it can make you irrit it can you know it can it gives a feeling of irritation then headache can be there okay uh, so all these uh, can be adjusted out in this way okay now you know if i want to determine the factors of the sound pollution if i want to determine how uh, noise pollution you know uh, if i want to determine the noise pollution so it depends upon the two factors children okay noise pollution depends upon the two factors the first factor is loudness okay like what is the loudness of that particular uh, 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 when i talk about noise pollution so what is the loudness okay how lo how lo loud <laughs> how loud is a how <laughs> how loud is the sound okay and the second thing which is there which is which can be known as you know we can say like sound can be determined by this so the second is duration okay there can be two factors which can uh, determine the sound pollution and that can be first of all the loudness and the second thing is duration so how can we explain this i'll just stop the board and we'll talk about this but there this the, these two are the things which determine the sound pollution see if the pollution uh, if the sound is coming some noise is coming okay this sound is very very harsh this sound is very harsh it is very loud okay but just if it is for few minutes few minutes then you know it won't uh, harm you so much okay it won't create disturbance for you okay it was there it came and it went isn't it but then if a sound is there which is loud and in fact the time period okay the duration is also very long it is there say for 1 hour 2 hours or whatever so again it will create lot of disturbance for you as the time increases as the time increases even sometimes a softer uh, you know sound can be very painful for the person why because in the period the time uh of exposure okay the time in uh, of exposure is very high okay so what i mean to say is the sound can be determined by two factors that is loudness and the duration if the sound is very uh, uh of low you know sound is not so very uh, high it is low only but if the duration is very high then also it can affect us adversely but 
uh, if the uh, sound is very loud and it is just for a momentary maybe for one minute of two minutes so it won't affect us so much but if these two things come children in combination okay that the sound is loud also and the sound is for long duration also definitely this is going to create all these effects which i have written over here and which we have discussed okay so sound pollution is you know uh, as i told this has come into existence into the 20th century and this is because the man has you know, uh, shown more dependence on the machines. Nowadays we are more dependent on machines just take the example of the uh, simple house uh, when um, mother, your mother cooks food in olden days uh, like I am talking of long back you know maybe of about your grandmother's uh, kitchen they might have not used the mixers in their days isn't it if they had they had something to you know uh, grind they used to use something you know like a stone or something like that so it was not there in their time and they uh, i don't think so like your granny in her days might have used any time the washing machine not at all isn't it? So even these small small uh, machines have created has increased uh, the noise pollution. So see uh, and we cannot uh, move away from all this ok this is the need of today we need machines isn't it? We need grinder machines we need uh, juicers we need uh, washing machine because this is very fast fall ok we uh, like in uh, today's time no one has so much of time to just sit and to you know grind the things uh, on stone because it is very time consuming and even it consumes more of energy ok so it is a need of time so we cannot get away from this but at least the things which are in our hands and you know which can be reduced which can be reduced and which doesn't affect our life so badly can sh or should be reduced you know? they are things which are there in our hands so we discuss about the factors and also how to reduce the uh, noise pollution so this was all about the noise pollution definition and the effects of the noise pollution now we'll talk about the factors which determine the noise pollution and also about the uh, you know ways how to uh, reduce noise pollution So we were talking about the factors which determine the sound ok. So factors which determines the sound pollution ok. So what are the two factors which determines the sound pollution? What are the two things which affects the sound pollution? Which affects the you know the effect of sound, sound pollution ok. So factors which determines the sound pollution. So the first one is its loudness and the second one is duration. See if out of this two even one is slightly you know if one is low ok that means if the loudness if the sound is very high but the duration is just for one minute two minutes so it will not uh, affect us it will not affect us so much ok then second thing if the duration is also very uh, uh, low duration is also very high and the loudness is also very high then, uh, then it is going to affect us very badly. Okay, and the third thing if the loudness is very less okay, uh, the sound is not very high but then the duration is very high okay, the duration is very high okay, someone is, someone is listening music it is a good music but then you know like a whole day if a person uh, listens music then other person may feel irritated and it can create disturbance for him ok. So, this two factors affect the sound the effect of sound pollution 
and if this two both the factors are present then really it affects like anything ok. So, the factors which determines the sound pollution are what loudness and duration ok. So, now next we will talk about the factors of so, uh, like only the pollutants ok the one which creates sound pollution. So, the sources of sound pollution ok. So, the sources of sound pollution. So, children what are the sources of sound, sound pollution? It can be machines ok all sort of machines ok. So, even if you want to write here heavy machines, so even you can write heavy machines ok. Then what else? Loudspeakers ok, vehicles shouting or screaming ok. Sound of radios, television ok. See when we say machines everything comes under this, but here I am talking specifically about the heavy machines which are there in the factories and uh, in the industries ok. So, even the household machines like you know the mixer there is no place. So, I am just writing washing machine like this in short form washing machine. So, all these ok even the generators it produces such a dirty sound dhar 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 is not it. So, all these are the sources of the sound pollution ok what loud like heavy machines loudspeakers vehicles shouting or screaming sound of radio and televisions mixer and washing machine and even the supersonic jetways ok supersonic jets ok even this create a lot of noise pollution. So, these all are the pollutants these all are responsible for creating sound pollution ok. So, till now we have studied what is the meaning of noise pollution, how it is created, these are the sources, what are the effects of the sound pollution, what are the factors which determine the sound pollution ok. So, now it is a time to discuss about the ways how can we reduce what noise pollution or the sound pollution ok. So, I will just write ways. to reduce sound pollution ok ways to reduce sound pollution. Now, what are the different ways uh, by which we can reduce this pollution? Uh, first of all you need to decide that do you feel that this sound pollution is really disturbing do you feel that it has to be controlled ok. So, if you feel that you need to control there is a problem of sound pollution which has come into existence. So, then you should start from yourself is not it the best thing which we can do is to start from our own self our own house is not it. So, what are the things which you can do which I can do as an individual. So, we can what we can do like when you people are in groups in the class screaming shouting is not it can be or should be reduced which I know again a big question mark is not it ok. And then second thing see uh, first of all hear the loudspeakers ok whenever uh, in any function uh, which uh, you know which uh, 
uh, where we are an important person, where, which, uh, where the things are in our hands. If we are using loudspeakers, then we should avoid using loudspeakers as much as possible. So, first of all, the use of loudspeakers, okay, the use of loudspeakers should be avoided. Okay, so what has to be done first of all the use of loudspeakers has to be avoided okay because then this loudspeakers they really create lot of noise and it really disturbs the person okay so first of all what can be done the loudspeakers should be controlled off okay then So, the use of the loudspeakers should be avoided. Now, what can be the second point? We just have to see over here to see the control measures. Okay. If we have to check, we need to see, find out the sources, what of which sources are responsible for sound pollution. Okay. Now, machines. You know children, when uh, we talk about heavy machines, under heavy machines, you know, thick rubbers are kept. Okay, thick, uh, you know, uh, uh, layer of rubbers are kept. Why it is kept, children? Because they absorb the sound. Okay, just you only take an example. If you have to grind something, okay, or you have to, you know, uh, you have to use. Uh, If you have to suppose you have to use a small that uh, you know, a, a mortal system is there and no? a mortal is there where we just uh, uh, put a small thing uh, maybe ginger and we crush that okay. You keep that small vessel uh, without any cloth and just uh, crush that and next time you keep a cloth and you crush you will feel that the sound the next time when you keep a cloth uh, it gives a it produces lesser sound. Why? Because the sound is absorbed, okay, and sound is not produced as much as it is produced without using the cloth, okay. So, what is what has to be done, children? Like, uh, first of all, whenever the machines, the heavy machines are kept, it is kept under the thick layers of the rubbers, okay. Why it is done? So, because the sound is absorbed, okay. Uh, you just take the example of your own house, children. When uh, uh, whenever your rooms are empty, maybe some for cleanliness or one or the other reason during shifting, okay, when you go and see the empty house, empty vacant rooms, you will see, you will even talk, you, you know, you will get the echo of that, okay, that uh, you will be able to hear uh, loud, uh, you know, uh, sound, your voice will be heard properly, uh, but when the room is occupied by the other places like the furnitures or anything, anything like lot of furniture is there, cupboards are there. So, you will find that your voice is suppressed, okay. Now, it does not seem that when you talk, you are shouting, is not it? So, what is the reason children? When the rooms are vacant, okay, when the rooms are vacant, there is nothing in the room which can absorb the sound. Okay, whereas when the furnitures are there in the furniture is there in the room, uh, curtains are there in the room. Okay, so uh, you know uh, the that covers are there, the sofa covers are there in the room. So what is happening, children? All these things absorbs the sound, and so the you know when we talk, uh, it it is it gives a soothing, creates a soothing environment. It doesn't uh, gives any kind of unpleasant, creates an unpleasant environment or sensation to our ears. Why? Because the sound is absorbed, the extra sound is just absorbed. Okay. So, then under the machines, thick rubber is spreaded under the heavy machines.
okay so what is done thick rubber is spreaded under the heavy machines okay so now what can be the third thing children vehicles okay so and even you know one thing i want to add in the machines that uh, scientists uh, or the you know the whenever the machines are made new and you know modern ways should be find out to reduce the sound which is produced from the machines okay so new and modern techniques new and modern ways should be looked for which can reduce what sound from the heavy machines okay so new and modern ways should be looked for which can reduce sound from the heavy machines okay now what's the next one what specially you can do you can uh, like keep control on your own radios and speakers and uh, televisions okay so radios speakers okay televisions should be used on low volume okay so this is the exactly this one is the point which is in your hand isn't it nobody has asked you to see the movie on the television with loud noise okay i don't know about uh, you but i am very sure that your mama must be shouting 10 times at least that must be saying that please reduce the buffers please reduce the volume isn't it why because uh, like it is quite easy for you people to listen so uh, high you know to listen the uh, the radios and to see the televisions for longer time on such a high volume but it's not easy for the grand parents especially to uh, see the same thing on such a high and loud volume okay so this is a thing which is in your hand this is a thing which you can keep control on to reduce the volume okay now what's the next one scream and shouting i won't write because it won't make any sense for you uh, why it's not doesn't make any sense for you because uh, like you know when it is done it is done whenever the group is there and uh, you know uh, it cannot be it is just a it can't be the part of the fun and it is not the thing which impact which affects the environment very badly so i don't feel in writing any sense so i'm not writing this now mix in this okay so this are the all major issues major parts so these are the major part where one can work now from this again just find out where, where are the where is the what is the place where we can work upon so again when we talk about vehicles children again you know the better quality of silencers should be used uh, it uh, even you might have observed that many uh, you know many youngsters they use their uh, bikes which create they like you know open the silencers and due to that what happened the silencer doesn't work and it the loud noise is created and the youngsters enjoy this sound but Uh, along with your enjoyment even one should keep this thing in mind that it should not harm environment and at the same time it should not harm other people also isn't it so vehicles in vehicles good quality of silencers 
silences should be used okay so what has to be done children good quality of silencers has to be used so that again the uh, the noise pollution or the sound pollution can be controlled and uh, one more thing which can be done by the government there is no place to write now okay so the factories i'll just write in very short the factories should be located the factories there is no place to I just write in very short form that factories should be away from the residential area away from residential area ok that means the factories uh, the factories of the industries should not be uh, allowed to be constructed in the areas where the people stay ok in the residential areas. So, these all things are there which can be done ok. So, first of all I will just list out the noise pollution what we have studied in noise pollution like what is there the, the sound which creates a pleasant uh, effect sensation on the ears is uh, what music and which does not create a pleasant sensation or feel does not give a pleasant uh, feeling that is what it is uh, pollution sound pollution. How it can be created? It can be created by big machines, generators, uh, mixers, grinders, shouting, screaming then again what sound of loudspeakers, radios, television. How it can be controlled? By keeping control on ourselves is not it? by using by listening the radios and televisions on the lower sound by reducing the use of the loudspeakers then by using the modern method uh, so that uh, the new silencers the modern silencers can be used which can reduce the noise pollution the heavy machines should be kept under the heavy thick uh, carpets or the rubbers so that it can absorb this it can absorb the sound. So, this was all about the noise pollution because and it is really very very important to control noise pollution because it is very uh, you know it can be very dangerous if a person uh, you know comes in contact with a uh, like loud sound for a longer period of time and that was the factors which we studied that factors which determines the sound pollution that can be to the loudness and the duration. So, this was all about the what noise pollution and with this the chapter gets over uh, after this we will be solving some NCRT questions. So, but with the discussion with the explanation of the sound pollution this was there in this uh, the noise pollution was the last topic of the chapter. So, now we will be proceeding towards the question answers of the NCRT ok. Thank you.